Hi, OneHourSmartHome.com here, and today we're going to teach you how to use wire strippers. The very first thing to know about wire strippers is that on them you have these designations where actually the diameter or gauge of the wire. So what I have here is a 14 diameter gauge wire, and that gauge wire would go in the 14 gauge hole if I needed to strip that wire, but this one already doesn't have insulation on it. What you can see is that it goes everywhere from 10 gauge to 18 gauge. 10 gauge is the largest diameter wire. And when you get to 18 gauge wire, that is the smallest diameter wire on this particular wire stripper. Now there are gauges higher than 10 and there are gauges lower than 18. But what you need to understand here is that the gauge wire, the number increases as the diameter decreases. So a 10 gauge wire is larger than an 18 gauge wire. Typically in most homes, you're gonna find 14 and 12 gauge wire, which are used for residential wiring. Where you can find the gauge designation on the wire is typically on the side of the wire, and it will be hard to see here, but this would say uh, 14 gauge to conductor wire, and it's kind of printed into the side of that electrical wire. You'll also see it when you're purchasing the wire, but you can also tell what diameter it is by if you take a piece of the wire, and you just put it in the hole and you can see that it passes through. And when I go from uh, 16 gauge, I can see it will no longer go through. But when I have 14 gauge, this wire will go through. So I know it's that's the diameter gauge of the wire. Now, since I know I have 14 gauge wire, all I'm gonna do is put my wire in these wire strippers like so. And you can see that there is a slant on this wire stripper, that it is not unidirectional. And when you put the wire in at the slant or using the gauge in the stripper, it's gonna make it a little bit easier to strip than if I were to go like this. So if you go along with that slant, it's gonna make it easier to strip the wire. Once I put it in, I just go ahead and press down or clamp down on it. Sometimes I give it a light turn if my blades are not very sharp and I just pull the wire and stripper and then it's gonna pop right off. Now, depending on how new your tool is and how much it's been used and how sharp the blades are, you probably won't have to do that little turn or twist like I did, but it just depends. Now, we've got a link to this one below. This is probably one of the most common tools. Uh, this Klein tool, it gets used by professionals and amateurs alike, but that is the first thing that you can do with it. You can actually strip the wire. So what else can you do with this tool? Well, you can go ahead and let's say we've got our 14 gauge wire or 14 gauge Romex and we just need to cut it down or we need a couple pieces. We can go ahead and cut it even with the insulation still on. You can also cut the wire like so and just cut off the ends or whatever you need to do. But what a lot of people don't know about is that these holes here are actually used for bending the wire or can be used for bending the wire. So all you do is go ahead and insert the wire here and bend and all of a sudden you've got 90 degrees or even more than 90 degrees bend. And you can do all kinds of things with this if you need to bend a wire for whatever application you're using. Now, another thing that you can do with this is actually make loops like this with a wire stripper. And the reason that you would wanna make a loop like this with the wire stripper is so that you could attach it on the backside of a light switch. So if I were gonna make a loop, I could just insert this here and I could then go ahead and rotate it again and that's gonna make my loop like so. Now that loop's a little bit off, but I've already made one here that's a little bit better, and you could just go ahead and insert this right into the back of the light switch, and it's gonna have perfect contact, and it loops right onto the back of that terminal like so. Now, let's say, like this one, which I didn't do perfectly, I need to redo, or it came off the back of a switch like this. Well, the reason that I did that is so that you can see what you can do here. What we've got on the very end of the uh, wire strippers is a plier. And with that plier, you can actually straighten wire out or unbend it. So you go ahead and grab it and you can just unbend this and straighten that back out. And the reason you might wanna do that is because maybe you messed up the bend the first time or the other reason that you might wanna do that is because maybe you've got a back wire electrical switch or electrical outlet that you want to install this wire on and you need to be able to slide it in rather than make a hook. So for instance, on this particular light switch, let's see if we can get it here. You would want to just slide this in the back of the light switch. Sometimes those get a little bit off kilter there. 
And now I can slide this in and have a backwired or straight contact with the electrical outlet or electrical switch that I'm installing. So that is another thing that you can do with your wire strippers. Now these particular ones, these Klein tools, Klein is a very popular tame name in electrical tools. These are gonna be in a link below. Um, sometimes you can also use a utility knife and what you use that for is to get the outer layer of insulation off of the electrical wire and then just peel back before you start to strip it. So that's one reason that I've got that out here. But uh, these in general are pretty cheap and a good option. Uh, there's a lot of different brands out there, but something like this is a basic tool that both you'll see a lot of professionals at job sites using, and you'll see just your amateur DIY person. If you were to get one of these, you wouldn't be outclassed for most residential wiring applications or just even at a home hobbyist level. And they're probably less than 20 bucks depending on where you get them. But if you wanna support us, you can go ahead and click on any of the links below. Thank you for watching and you can also subscribe to our channel. Give us that thumbs up if this helped you learn more about electrical wiring or visit us at onehoursmarthome.com. Thank you very much.